hey guys what's up so i'm going to start today one of the important topic which i believe everybody needs and everybody wants jira okay jira when we say jira jira is the defect management tool or you can say that it's a project management tool so before starting with the jira tutorial i will give you a brief background about uh, me so I come from mechanical background and I am from Bihar Mujapurpur. I have my Facebook page, so you guys can like my Facebook page and you can ask me the doubt. And I do have a YouTube channel, so you guys can subscribe my channel and you have very good playlist in my channel and the GitHub locations where you have all the source code. And for any query, even in, uh, if you want, you can mail me to learnbyvanu@gmail.com. Right? So let me give you the background of Jira. So what is Jira basically? Jira is a defect management tool or you can say that it's a project management tool. So why I'm saying that Jira is the project management tool because not only defect, we can manage the in fact test cases, we can manage the defects, we can manage the project, we can manage the sprint, right? We can get the report out of Jira, right? So we can do lot more things in the Jira compared to just managing the defects. We will see one by one. Okay. So to start with the Jira, first I will show you wherever you will go for any company, there will be a Jira URL like this https hyphen hyphen Jira dot company name dot com. So here instead of company name, it can be anything based on the company name, right? So usually uh, you will get Jira ID like this and wherever you go for any company and you have not worked actually you will get username password for the Jira. They will give you username and password for the Jira login. Okay that you don't need to worry. Okay for any company if they use Jira they will give you username and password. Now here if you look at this is my Jira. Okay here what I will do, I will log in through my uh, Gmail account, okay, which I have, and then I'll go to the next and I'll, I'll supply the password. Okay, so once we log into the Jira, okay, this is the interface which we get. This is the interface which we get in the Jira. It will it will take some time it will uh, it's a bit slow okay so let it let it load and then i will explain you how the jira interface will look like and how jira works we will see one by one so that's how you'll get a jira home page okay you'll have a jira dashboard projects issues boards create okay and the moment you log in like this you'll get an interface now we will understand one by one okay we will start with projects okay so whenever you have a jira jira will have the associated projects and one company can have a multiple projects that projects ideally it is not created by us it will be created by by uh, i mean yes of course one of the team members or it can be ops team or it can be your manager right it can be any one of one of them Right, then how do you create a project? We'll start with the fresh project. Okay. To create a project, what we can do is we can click on these projects and we can click on uh, create project. So one company can have n number of project, right? So I will go for a scrum software development. I will go to next and here I will give some project name. So here I will uh, give project name saying that let's say team viewer team viewer is my project name the key is team so it's okay if you want you can change it so team viewer i'm giving a project name click on submit so one project will get created right now project is get created after the project is get created usually in the jira being a tester being automation tester or being a developer or being some other team members first we will start with creating a, a story point right and i will show you how we create a story right so we have created one project now what we will do is 
we will go and create some story so click on the create when we click on the create here you can see that earlier i had one more project called docu right so docu is also showing okay plus team viewer is showing so i want to create a, a story into team viewer so i will select the team viewer and issue type so what you want to create a story bug and epic so what is the story a story is nothing but let's say if there is one feature which you want to design so let's say uh, if i have to talk about let's say uh, i'll give you example of payment page so the story is going to be i want to write the code for net banking that is the story right bug i will tell you what is the epic the epic is the bigger story the story in which we can split multiple a story so the stories the bigger uh, portion of the storage in which we can uh, split multiple story so epic if i have to say i'll say payment page is the epic in the payment page there will be a net banking there will be a cod there will be a paypal right there will be a credit card right so a story can be the individual story the epic is the bigger part of a story it's a broader view we call it as epic so here i'm going to create a story because assume that development team has created one story saying that design net banking design net banking integration right and you can write some descriptions if you want you can write some description you are just creating the a story okay this is not a bug this is a story like since we work in the agile right so first we need to create the story so we are creating the story then priority what is the priority of this story you can keep medium high low i will keep high because we want this to be designed if you have any attachment you can yes you can do some attachment and this is very important part whom you want to assign this story either you want to assign to some team member or you want to assign yourself so when you want to assign yourself you click on assign to me when you click on assign to me your name will display here my name is showing yes. in your case your name will seen your name will show and let's say if you want to assign something assign somebody you have to write that person name so let's say i want to assign to let's say ram okay so here this my jira is not configured otherwise in the company configurations what will happen you will get you know uh, all ram name present here so let's say uh, ram pratap ram bismil uh, ram mohan ram sudarshan you will get all the name displayed here you can select one okay you can select one so here as of now i'll go for assign to me it is assigned to me and then what is the sprint right what is the sprint like is there any sprint created as of now we have not created the sprint so i'll just uh, i'll just click on create so one story got created that's how we create a story so design net banking registrations one story has been created now what i will do is i will create one more story okay now in the same project a story i'll create uh, let's say i'll create here in the story i'm going to create design net bank design credit card credit card integrations okay so we are going to create this and again assign to me since i don't have any other user and i'll click on create so what happens to a story got created right that's how we create the story once this story got created uh, you can see that here you have a backlog and here you have active sprint right so what we can do here is you click on this active a sprint here when you mouse over you can see that active sprint you can click on the active sprint when we click on the active sprint uh, what happens is we can create the sprint okay report release backlog and here you have invite your team components issues project setting right so what i will do first we will create one sprint to do that here create a board i don't want to create a board uh, what i will do is 
I'll first go to the project. So I'll select my project team viewer. I'll click on the team viewer project. So the moment you will select the team viewer project, your project will come like this. And then what happens is we will create a board. So click on create a board, right? So create a scrum board. Okay. Now click on create a board. Now click on create a scrum board board from the existing product board from the existing sub file so do one thing cancel this we'll first create one sprint uh, let me figure out the options where we have team configure wait uh, we will go to the backlog yes here we have when we click on backlog here we have create a sprint so click on the sprint because in agile generally we have the sprint so here team viewer that is the reason we are getting a short name team that we have seen that so one a sprint got created a sprint one now the moment a sprint one got created right and what happens is this to a story we have added so it will be there in the backlog now what i planned in my sprint one i want to design this so i will just drag and drop it here so it will come in the sprint one as well as I will add one more story in the sprint one. So click on create issue here. When you click, click on create issue here, we can, when you click on this, one box will open and here you can write uh, design, let's say debit card or design, yeah. Design, uh, let's say, what we can do here is we can write some story so again uh, if you let's say when you say design a debit card so this is again going to be a story but sometimes either you can design a story or you can go for some short bug fix also so bug fix also you can do that right so what I will do is uh, let me think of any bug which we can uh, think of so I'll do one thing so I will write design debit card integration that is one fine yeah this is fine not a problem and I will assign to me and I will just here I can select a sprint so my active sprint now is there is two sprint I have one is team sprint one and one is doc sprint one so I'll select team sprint one click on create so this automatically this story will get created here so two story got created here let's say this two story got created here now what happens in the Jira we need to start the sprint that's how the sprint works right in the one sprint it can be 10 story it can be 20 story right so that's how the agile process works so i am talking the jira with respect to agile process now we click on start sprint when we click on start its sprints you can define for how many weeks you want to start the sprint so i will say i want a sprint for two weeks right and then i will click on start so your sprint got started right your sprint got started now once the sprint is started okay so if you look at here if you go to the sprint when you click on active sprints you will come to the sprint dashboard this is the sprint dashboard where you have to do in progress and done so as of now you have only to do right so what we will do will continue with the next video because this video is getting longer and i will tell you how exactly our process will happen and also i will talk about the how we uh, design any issue and bug and how do we assign thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video and hope you'll get a knowledge and hope you can tell something in the interview so if you like this video hit like button and subscribe my youtube channel thank you guys once again